All right, we're back uh, for this segment with Dave Jones, owner president of Allegra Pittsburgh. Dave, as I had queued up on the uh, the last segment, um, marketing and growth. This is in essence what you help companies do: market and grow their business. So, a very interesting question I have for you is: How do you market your business? How do you find customers? Sure. Um, I think it's important that we practice what we preach, Mm -hmm. and that's one thing that we're very strong on. I think it's also important to know that there is no silver bullet, never was, never will be. Marketing is a process. It's not an easy event. So we've done a number of things. Not all of them have been successful, some more successful than others. So I think the first thing we need to do when we talk to our clients and we need to do when we set our own um, targets and and goals for the year is to set realistic expectations. Um, We do it a couple of different ways. Number one, we do have vertical markets where there is a good fit. We know what our niche is. We know what our niche isn't. So we've done a good, uh, done a good job of identifying our customer base, knowing what segment, what size business, what number of employees uh, would be a good fit. We then go out and there are a lot of databases and data cards available that can find the next best customer. And that's mm-hmm. what our goal always is in, in marketing. It's not to create the next and most creative postcard or commercial or radio spot. It's to go find your next best customer. So what we do is we have marketing campaigns and marketing objectives with a business-focused result. Sometimes we achieve it, sometimes we exceed it, sometimes mm-hmm. we don't achieve it. And, but at least you have a business objective. You're how do you, how do you set those expectations? I mean, what, what, what's that look like from a, from a process standpoint? Sure. Um, you know, when, when you're engaging someone, is there, do you talk about ROI? Do you talk about number of clients? I mean, how do you, how do, you do that? Well, it, it is an ROI question because if you're, if you're going to, it, but it begins with your overall growth. What is your overall growth strategy? What is your overall growth objectives? And say you want to grow your business 10%, and that translates into X number of dollars. For simplicity's sake, let's say it's $100,000. And say your average client mm-hmm. is $10,000. Well, you can do the math and say, I need to get this many yeah. more of those 10000 mm-hmm. to hit my goal. So how am I going to do that? Always and always you need to factor in there's going to be attrition. Whether that attrition is due to just lack of demand, you lose market share, whatever it is. So your, your goal of growing 100 is probably more like a goal of growing 150. So you start with those business objectives, and then you build the campaigns around finding those next customers that fit that ideal slate. And that can come in many forms. So if I... So if I understand you correctly, you're pretty much doing the same. You you do similar marketing to what you recommend to clients of yours. Exactly. <clears throat> as far as, you know, getting pieces, getting contacts, knowing who the right people are type of thing, right? Exactly. Exactly. So what, do you, what are the biggest challenges you see out there right now? The biggest challenge is, is that there, there are always uh, folks doing what we're doing in everybody's business. They're all trying to grow their business. So time is a, is a resource for everybody, and we all have a very diminishing resource and time. So getting the opportunity to meet with and to tell your story or to understand their pain and how you might be able to help solve their pain in mm. their business is the biggest challenge. Getting Which as you, you describe it, shot on goal. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So Gotta get a shot on get goal. Get a shot on goal. So we believe uh, and we're very you know, if we get enough opportunities to do that, we're very good at it and we deliver and we usually get a second and a third. And that's the, that's the biggest uh, compliment we can get in our business is repeat business. Okay. And, okay. Um what separates you from your competitors? Anybody can put ink on paper, and that's basically what a commercial printing business does and some folks are good at it and most you folks got are some good printers out there that you probably just offended by saying. yeah probably and uh you know that's that's okay because they're probably very good at it yeah. and uh but we're very good at it. a lot of folks are doing it. so we have to differentiate ourselves mm-hmm. we have to add more value than just delivering it on time we look for creative ways to improve their marketing and sometimes and most times that involves a printed piece or printed pieces but there are other opportunities to help improve their business and we have to not ignore those or to sell against them. We have to embrace them, whether that's building a better website, 
optimizing a search engine so that their website gets hit, whether that's looking at alternative email components, direct mail postcards. They're all integrated as strategies, and, and you, you, it's just not a one-size-fits-all. And that's, you handle all those. I we mean, handle I think, all those. I think that's yeah. important for people when they're listening and watching this is that you, you in essence, is a one -stop, you are a one-stop shop when it comes to all things marketing, whether it be web-based printing, um, mail campaigns, what have you, correct? Correct, yeah. We, we are an advertising agency with in-house print and design capabilities, and that's a pretty nice combination. Not for mm -hmm. everybody. Mm -hmm. the, the large Fortune 500 corporations, the scale of their needs are beyond our capabilities, so we know mm -hmm. that that's not a good fit. But for many, many small to medium-sized businesses out there, we're a very... That's your wheelhouse. That's our wheelhouse. Dave, awesome. let's cut you off there, uh, and we'll come back in a few minutes and talk about uh, mergers and acquisitions growing yeah. by... Uh, uh, you know, purchasing, finding other companies that, that are a good fit for you. But uh, I think it's really good stuff. A lot of information there. If you want to learn more, go to AllegroPittsburgh.com uh, or give uh, Dave a call. But uh, we'll be back in a few minutes. Thank you very much.